The story starts in Genesis, in the Garden of Eden. And there you have Adam and Eve, the crown of creation. They're given their new garden home. But along comes a moment where there's a big choice. And here today, ladies and gentlemen, Asher and Renna are going to reenact that choice to believe in the one. first year over at College of the Canyon, straight out of high school. I decided to take an oceanography class and I met this person there. I thought he seemed nice, he was very quiet. I had the bright idea of coming up with a study group with a girlfriend of mine, another friend, and then Asher. So eventually those culminated into just like us going to dinner and then that turned into like actual dates. I never had any sort of, of relationship, even friendship that was like so unconditional. I knew six months in, I would marry her. You're gonna be a great husband and a dad. We're gonna have a really great, amazing, strong future and grow in God's love. And I'm very excited for that. By the powers invested in me by the state of California, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Asher and Brenna Wenrick. Although I'm the younger brother, it has been a pleasure for me to see Brenna grow. It's hard to believe that my sister is married. It's hard to comprehend that six years went by so fast. And I'm glad that Brenna has met Asher because more than a husband, he's Brenna's best friend. I'm excited to see the adventures that she and Asher will have together. Brenna really is an amazing young woman. Her mom and I always told her, you know, hold yourself up high and the right one will rise to the occasion. And the right one did. And that was Asher. I'm happy that the Winrick and Andreoni families are joined together through Asher and Brenna. My introduction to Asher and Brenna as a couple came out of the blue. One day, six years ago, Asher mentioned that he needed to go on a field trip as part of his oceanography class. <laughs> Brenna, when you dropped Asher off after that trip to Palos Verdes, he was floating on air. He was like the Bugs Bunny cartoon when his heart beats out of his chest. So I was looking forward to meeting this classmate who had captured my son's heart. 